Hey guys, we are back. Today is a very interesting episode because we intend to try and take out the Moon Lord. I've spent some more Vortex Fragments actually because I was a dummy. Uh, for some reason I thought Chlorophyte Arrows were also homing, uh, but it's actually only Chlorophyte um, Bullets, so I've had to make the Vortex Blaster. That's going to help me out a lot in our... Um, Killing the Doom Lord, or the Moon Lord, sorry. Not the Doom Lord. <laughs> May as well be called the Doom Lord, though. Um, so, I need to do that. Then we need to de-summon the Stardust Dragon. Uh, as you can see, I've stocked up on all the potions I'm going to use for the fight. Um, also went and killed Plantera a couple of times. Got the Plantera mask. It's pretty cool, I'm wearing it now. Um... Because when I went and got the Chlorophyte, obviously. Uh, what was I going to do? Right. I was going to resummon our friend. We want cooked fish. We want wrath potion. And now we start... I'm going to put this stuff on. Put that stuff on. Summon our friend. Nope. Oh, there's also one other thing I need to do. Summoning potion. Right, now we re-equip our tiki stuff. Which is a bit confusing because two of it is in the vanity slots now. Add one more segment to him. He's huge now. Uh, and then we put these back on. Now. Next step. Potions. We want one of each. Except obviously the ones we just used. Heart reach, extra crit, magic power, because I don't know if maybe I'll be doing magic damage somewhere, and archery potion. Then we get in our UFO. We go over to the Colosseum. You can see on the mini map, I've zoomed out quite far, uh, that line in the mini map, if you can see it on YouTube, hopefully the compression lets you see it, um, is a line running through the top of the screen, and that is our railway. And at full speed in a mechanical cart, and we're not going to be going full speed, um, we can... it takes about a minute. So, uh, we might get about three minutes of distance, and even then it turns around immediately. Butching table. Uh, and all that stuff. And now we add yet another segment to our Stardust Dragon. <laughs> and we fly up here. And... We get on the rail, and now deep breath, because we're going to summon our friend, and then we're going to wait. Because I learnt from last time that uh, he takes a while to get here. So, let's just think about things. Uh, when he appears, I need to buff, and start moving the cart at the same time, and facing this direction, and just firing and not stopping because the chlorophyte bullets that I have in here are going to um, allow me to hit the sky without really aiming because they're homing bullets and they do a fair good a fair amount of good damage I'm doing a lot of extra damage because potions and I'm going to do even more once I've actually consumed my potions and that's going to run out soon but that doesn't matter he's doing 601 damage that's insane. Oh, thanks. Yes, you do some damage before the boss arrives. That's fine. He's going to arrive any second. Now we start moving and firing. Now I need to go slow enough that my dragon can catch up. Fast enough that that tongue lets me go. Right, that's that dead. Alright, so we're probably not going to win this time. The tongue needs to let go, dang it. And my dragon needs to actually do some work, which he wasn't. For some reason he was sticking around me, even though the Moon Lord was right next to me. That's really unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to go get some more stuff and we're going to see about what we can do to make that work better. 
certainly worked better than the um, attempting to fight him on the ground. So, I'm not sure why those potions didn't get taken. Maybe I, there's a maximum amount of potions I can have. So, let's stack up those. Heart Reach, Rage, Ammo Preservation, Hunter, Calming. Oh, I already have Calming. Right. Those ones are the ones I need my... Those. Okay. Uh, endurance. I force magic potion. Okay. Don't know when we're actually going to need the heart reach because we're not earning hearts at all. Um, so that's the thing. And I'm out of vortex fragments. So I'm going to have to start the <laughs> thing again. I'm going to be back once I've killed all the pillars and got enough fragments and we're all ready for that sort of thing. See you soon. Hello guys, I'm back. As you can see, I've got a heck of a setup now. I haven't cleaned up the rest of the rail, but I've cleaned up some of it. And I've created something new. Um, I had a spark of inspiration about the way that the Moon Lord seems to function. He seems to function like a combination of the way that Plantera does, and that he tries to keep a certain distance from you at all times, and the way that Skeletron Prime does, in the way that Skeletron Prime has the... Um, other targets around it that kind of uh, orbit him um, and so I've created this setup up here which is my like teleporter rail thing and Golem works much the same way that Skeletron Prime does although connected to the ground so I've kind of an adapted an idea that I use with my Golem temple and I've created this kind of infinite loop where I go in one direction and hopefully, um, in the process of doing that, so if I get out, stop the annoying noise, um, the uh, distance on the each rail is more than one screen, because the Moon Lord is uh, about one screen width, and it's um, about a screen's width high. So if I position myself, I can see both rails uh, at the top and bottom of the screen at a similar distance. Um, so what hopefully will happen is that it'll keep the Moon Lord kind of in the middle. And that will also mean that the AI around the Moon Lord does not reset, including my Serpent. Which means my Serpent won't run away from uh, fighting or anything like that. Now, I set up all of this. Um, so that I get the maximum benefit out of it possible. I have six fireplaces all spaced so that the um, debuff never drops off. Same with the heart lamps and the stars in the bottle. I also have in the center uh, four heart statues. I had to steal them from the other arenas. Um, but um, those heart statues are just generating like a little health station and in the middle which keeps cancelling my UFO is a bubble and that bubble holds liquid uh, and that liquid is honey which is giving me a small life regen boost so I'm kind of maxing out what I can uh, sunflower won't be any good for this particular setup because the sunflower doesn't affect the minecart at all um, Although, and it reduces monster spawns, so it doesn't give me any other benefits, uh, which is why there's no setup um, sunflowers about. So this is basically ready for action. Uh, I've also changed back to the phantasmal bow because while I was doing the celestial event all over again, I noticed that the gun just wasn't as powerful as the phantasmal bow. Um, the bow just seems to do so much more damage, even though this particular one is unupgraded, and I should do that before I start the fight, actually. Um, we've got plenty of time, because we can start the boss at any moment. It doesn't have to be daytime, it can be nighttime. Uh, it doesn't matter, which is one of the cool things about this particular boss. There's no waiting around. So let's reforge the phantasm. 
we preferably want to get unreal. Knowing strong, nimble. Because it costs so much to reforge it, um, I will go for the next best thing. But if we get unreal in the process, I will be very ha happy. I'm actually getting really terrible reforges. Deadly is pretty good. Uh, how much? I've got four platinum. Let's just force this a bit more. Agile, deadly again. I'll go down to... Uh, there we go. Unreal Phantasm. <laughs> that's the best it gets, basically. Uh, so that's doing 57 range damage. It's doing more than that, obviously, because it has the whole echo situation going on. Plus it shoots um, little blue things, uh, which is pretty cool. So we should be basically as maxed out as possible. Okay. So, here's how we do this. First of all, we need to get into the spooky gear and the damage gear. We need to take our summoning potion. Yeah, summoning, wrath, food. We need to cancel the stardust dragon. We need to get these back. Oh good, I'm being attacked by everything while this happens. We need to summon him as big as we can possibly get him at this point. And I'll just do that a couple of extra times. Don't know how big he can get at the moment. We equip Tiki Armor. Add that one more minion. Um, replace the damage emblems to get the extra armor. And he should be as big as we can possibly get him at this point. Okay. So the next part is to summon this guy. And now we wait. Sorry about the creaky chair. We wait. We survive. He destroys things. <laughs> and as soon as that boss appears, I start driving like mad. At full speed this time. Which is the other benefit. And I hit buffs. And hopefully this arena <laughs> is awesome. Okay. The music has stopped. So any second now, oh, please go away. There we go. Now I just start driving. Just start driving. And this should keep... <laughs> this is working so well. <laughs> and he does his laser. And I avoid it as I'm teleporting up and down. Excellent. Occasionally I'm going to get hit. That's a given. But hopefully, just through the fact that I have so much stuff on me, regen and what have you, I can take out the central eye and the hands. There's a potion now, I think. Ow. Ow. I've lost this one, I think. I'm not sure what I'll do differently next time. I have to somehow take out the center eye before the hands, because you saw during that what the problem was, was those eyeballs were spawning and I was ramming straight into them and there wasn't much that I could do to get around them. You can jump on the minecarts, uh, but jumping isn't going to, um, isn't going to help you too much. And I did buff, but it didn't, again, some of these potions aren't being taken. I think there's a limit to the amount of buffs that I can have on. 
<sighs> All right. Um. So, need to somehow make sure that the uh, center eye, the one on the middle of the head, is the first thing to go, and then take out the hands. But the phantasmal dragon, stardust dragon, <laughs> isn't going to um, be able to be directed. So. I have to somehow make sure that the eye gets focused down, and I'm not sure how to do that. But I will try and work something out. Anyway, I'm going to cut here, and I'll be back once I'm ready to do it all over again.